If you've been in my community for a while, you might have heard of what I like to call the Not Martha debacle. Okay, what the heck is that, right? Well, if you've been on my email list, you've heard a little bit of this story, but I thought it would be fun to tell it here. So when early on in my career, or my attempt at a career anyway, before I actually had a career, I was trying to figure out my place in the music industry, and I didn't really have any clue. So I was kind of trying to find other bands that I thought had potential that I could just insert myself into and that I would, you know, just kind of follow along on their coat, drag along on their coattails because I thought they knew more than I did. And so I went through this whole period where I was putting myself out there in the recycler or reaching out to people. That's, that's a classified ads thing in LA, by the way. But um, I was reaching out to people and, you know, things that I thought would be a good fit. I tried cover bands. I tried all kinds of different, I was in like, oh my gosh, I was in like this one that I would kind of classify as like all male hard rock. And I was a lead singer. Like there was so many bad band experiences, but this one, I thought, oh, this is, this seems good. Like it's, it's gonna, it's supposed to be an all female band. And yeah, we're doing alternative rock. I do like alternative rock. It's not really this, I'm like, heck, I'm a classy, a classically trained singer. So does that make sense? Probably not, but I could, I could fit into that. So, you know, I responded to the ad. They, they had all these resources. They had all of their rehearsals at this really large space. And so I was like, wow, this looks really professional, you know? So I auditioned. I was chosen, I was playing keyboard and I was singing and there was another guitarist and there was a drummer who started the group and I was just trying to fit into this thing even though I kind of was like, ah, this style of music, like it's not my forte, I like it but I don't feel like I'm that good at it. So you know, I was basically putting my trust in the person in charge of the group and she just talked about how she was this great marketer and she had all these ideas for branding and she had all this perfect branding set up and everything for the group called Not Martha. And so it looked really promising and I put a lot of effort into it and we rehearsed and we rehearsed and you know, we, we were kind of working like way behind the scenes. We were not putting ourselves out there. We weren't performing. We ended up recording an album and did all of this stuff without ever playing live, which let me tell you, that is a red flag, don't do that. Because her idea was, well, once we come out with this CD, we're just gonna take the market by storm and everyone is gonna go, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? And they're gonna you know, invite us to do all these performances and stuff. Meantime, we had, had not honed in our live show at all. We were practicing all the time but we didn't have any kind of, you know, stage like personality and banter and didn't really figure out how to go from song to song. And anyway, so all of this is our album came out. We were so excited, but I found out pretty quickly that she didn't have a marketing plan. Her plan was handing a box of CDs to each of us and saying, go sell them to your family and friends. That was it. And then when we finally did a couple of performances, you know, we were just so, unpolished and we hadn't built up any kind of fan base because we hadn't been performing at all so when the cd came out it just fell flat because we had nobody to buy it so that is you know my many lessons learned and how i moved from that into a solo career taking all those lessons that i learned and i talk about it a lot uh, when you join my email list telling those stories and what i learned from it and it, it was a very good learning lesson. I'm glad I went through it. It wasn't fun. Um, it was a lot of like emotional turmoil with people in the band and we broke up pretty quickly after the CD came out and we performed one of our big shows at the Coach House in Orange County. Uh, we performed at you know a couple festivals and stuff, but it just, it wasn't, the vision wasn't there and the organization and the marketing plan wasn't there. And I learned all the things to not do so I could start doing the right things in my musician business and then later on help teach you guys how not to make those mistakes and what to do and how to do it the right way.